Americans are spending more money on cosmetic procedures, and millennials' obsession with selfies, Instagram, and other social media platforms may have something to do with it. Although women still make up the majority of patients, the number of men looking to get procedures has steadily increased. 31% of men say they were extremely likely to consider it, and Botox is especially popular. About half a million procedures were performed on men in 2017. Coming up, Kevin Riley shows us what it's like to get Botox and if he thinks the procedure is worth the time and money. But first, here's what happened today and why it matters to you. Today, more men are opting for Botox to maintain a youthful look. And since 2000, the number of men receiving Botox has nearly quadrupled. Kevin Riley shows us what it's like to get Botox and whether it's worth the time and money. Why would anybody get a needle stuck in their face like that? Doing okay? Mm-hmm. Perfect. Two more. Well, I turned 38 and I started to notice that the wrinkles came with the years. One, two, three, last one here. Good. So I decided to try something I never would have considered before. Botox. Plastic surgery is close to a $17 billion industry and more men than ever are getting work done. Right, so we're right outside of Dr. Leota's office, about to get some Botox in my face. Hopefully look a little younger, but uh, I'm a little nervous, so let's see how this goes. In 2017, almost half a million Botox-like procedures were performed on men alone. It's part of a growing trend, and the media has even coined the term Brotox. Have you given in to Brotox? A Brotox party. Welcome to Brotox. I'm Dr. Dara Leota, and I'm a facial plastic and reconstructive surgeon on the Upper East Side of Manhattan. My plan was to get just Botox. Well, what I've noticed is, especially when I smile, these kind of lines over here. Yeah. But also, I, I you know one of the things I just feel like under my eyes, like I, I look like I'm tired, even though I Good feel eye. like I'm gonna sleep. I, I don't know. Good eye. However, Dr. Leota suggested getting a filler underneath my eye to reduce those circles that make me look really tired. If I put in a little bit of filler, it actually will help get that shadow away by filling in that little crease there. And you'll look less tired and more lively. See that? I don't need more sleep. I just need this. Botox is the most common procedure for both men and women. It's a toxin that affects the way that the muscle contracts, and it doesn't let the muscle contract as strongly or at all. And by weakening the muscle, it weakens the pull and the squeeze on the skin overlying, and that's what can smooth out fine lines and wrinkles. But what's it like? Well, it's like getting a bunch of needles stuck in your face. Now, Botox doesn't take effect immediately. It can actually take up to about a week to see the results. But wow, over the next week, the wrinkles just vanished. Dr. Leota also injected a filler underneath my eyes, and it can last for up to two years. You see a difference, right? So this is the shadow that we got rid of. So what's it all cost? Botox on average costs about $385 per visit, and it lasts somewhere around three to four months usually. The filler though is significantly more expensive. It can cost anywhere from $600 to $2,400. Now, did I immediately feel younger and more beautiful? No. You see, I'm a vain person. I filter my Instagram photos just to make sure that I think I look good. I see ads with men that have these chiseled six packs and I wanna look like them. And I've tried all the different workouts and diets, but the results never happen without the work. And I can be a really, really lazy person. But with this, I noticed a change I could see every morning. And that was the part that mattered here. I felt an ego boost. I felt better about myself. It just made me feel good. But would I do it again? Oh yeah, I already need some more here.